fast burglars, the victims even faster. <laughs> Wait till you hear how this case went down. Good evening, I'm Yanji Denise. And I'm Paula Akana. Tonight, two people are in jail after ransacking a 90-year-old man's home. But his family was just not about to let the bad guys get away. KITV4's Lara Yamada joins us now. And Lara, part of the reason they were caught was because of what was stolen, right? That's right, Paula. If you've ever been to a pawn shop, you've seen the rings, the necklaces, the bracelets, common items, tough for comps to trace if stolen. But when you combine a unique statue with a man on a mission, watch out. My heart was going a million miles a second. About this long and about that high. This was her favorite item that she brought back from Hong Kong. This is the team that turned a burglar's shopping spree into a big bust. No easy getaway this time. Oh yeah, I wasn't going to let them win. It was the middle of the day, April 28th. Sean Tiwanak's 90-year-old grandpa, Ray, was at home when Ezekiel DeMillo Corpus, 6'2", 210 pounds, broke through where jealousies used to be. Ray sleeping, the brazen burglar shutting the bedroom door. Take a look at this before stealing up to 70 things. Including a big TV. But it was two unique items. This made it easy for the uh, pawn shop to identify it. And some quick thinking that did him in. I got on their trail. Within hours, Sean was on the hunt, checking swap meets, posting flyers, and hitting pawn shops when he scored. I look, and right here on the table is the Jade Dragon. That Jade Dragon, hard to miss. Sean had just called Kamaaina Meadows owner Ray Rampoli. Not only was it there, at that moment, the people trying to sell it, Ezekiel and his accomplice, Deidre DeMillo Corpus, were in the room. I was freaking out. Seller Jackie Woods had the wherewithal to distract them. They didn't even notice when the police walked in. Oh, it's a good day. Good day. Yeah. How are you, Grandpa? He has bad dreams. He thinks people are breaking into the house and he doesn't feel safe. It is some justice served, but the damage is done. The family home, the generations of memories shaken, but still here. I'm just glad you were okay and you didn't get hurt. That's no, the main thing. <laughs> well, Sean says they've got most of the stolen items back. Ezekiel was sentenced in September. Deidre sentenced today to one year behind bars. Police believe the couple may have been burglarizing other homes, other senior citizens in the area for some time. Back to you. Thanks so much, Laura.